Welcome back to the show. I'm your host, Dan Kathman, and this is Aftermath. This is the show after the show, Surviving Man, and I'm joined here with three of the contestants from that show, our regular guests. So good to see you again. Good Thanks for coming you. out. Great to see you. Thank you. Oh my gosh. Okay, so new episode, lots of new things to talk about. Uh, let's get into it. All right, so we talked the last episode about the challenge, the additional challenge that was offered up because there were some people who thought that the climbing wall hadn't been fair. And so you had to volunteer without knowing what the challenge was going to be. And, uh, and I, was, I was proud of you. You stepped up because it was really a horrible challenge. Um, so what we had to do is a plank, but it wasn't just a plank, it was on bleachers. So <laughs> you had to be on your toes on a bleacher that was about this high and then down. And wow. yeah, it went, uh, that one was pretty hard. Um, and, you know, I was trying to get every single point, and one of my mantras is, like, I, I just won't quit. I'll just keep going until I'm dead. <laughs> and so it was funny because uh, there were two people who really were trying to beat me, maybe because I'm a girl, I don't know. But it was so funny because I kept looking at them to see when they would drop, and they kept looking at me saying, she's still up. She's still up. <laughs> and so that was motivation for me. Oh, yeah. and it was motivation for me too, watching you do that. Oh, it was so funny. <laughs> and strategically, so funny. you got points um, yes. if you could last two minutes. And I don't remember the number of points, but I remember I counted and I was like, No, well, it was five minutes, wasn't it? No, I think it was just two, two, it was minutes. two minutes. You had oh. to make it two minutes to get any points. And if you made it past that point, you got points if there were less than 10 people doing it. And so that's why I joined in. It was because that I was, was like, smart. Well, no matter what, so as long as I make it two minutes, I'll get points. That was right. super, super so. smart. And I was out at like 201. Yeah, right. but you, you were smart about that too because you didn't you know, blow yourself up on something that was really hard like that. So I knew, so typically these planks would come down to me and Chris, and, um, and Chris slipped at one point. I was like, oh, he's going down. He saved it with one arm. I'm like, dang. <laughs> <laughs> well, this is called the endurance plank. It's what it's called, right? So yes. it's about stamina. Yeah, and so right. then at the end, like, it didn't seem like Chris or I were ever going to drop. And so Don started doing really mean things like one arm plank. <laughs> <laughs> and other things, so right. we were just like, oh man, that was hard, so. And let's get into this run. I mean, it's an intense run that you guys did here. I think it was really fun. It was a five mile run um, that we had to do in the middle of the afternoon. Um, it was super hot super and in the hot. middle of the desert. Oh my gosh. So the endurance part, I'm sure you can touch that on That sounds too. super fun. That, and that's where the wet, <laughs> that's where the wet t-shirt came in too. Right. Yeah, you talk about, okay, let's, uh, let's get into that. So I go into the bathroom before our run and I see Jen in there and she's got her shirt in the sink and she's wetting it. And I'm like, what are you doing? Are you washing your shirt? She's like, no, this helps you just cool off. So I took my shirt off, right. put it in the sink. <laughs> It makes a huge, huge difference. Huge difference. Yeah, huge totally, difference. It totally did. I was so glad help. to help you. Yeah. So it was. It was the middle of the afternoon. It was so hot. It was so hot. And it was so dusty. It was just out into the desert on a road and then back. Have you ever ran in the desert? No, I've never actually been to a desert. So this is all <laughs> news to me. I did. I wouldn't even think about it. I will. This. I will say I thought running a five mile run in the desert was going to be super hot and draining but it's not like sweat like in the Northeast. Right. It's like super dry heat. So it was actually, as long as you stay hydrated, you don't really notice the heat, right. which okay. was really surprising to me. That's and I thought it was important to team up too. Mm -hmm. So who did you team up with? Um, yeah, so yeah, who did you team up? <laughs> so I teamed up with Cody um, and, and Cody, cause Cody was going for points too because we're kind of getting towards the end here mm -hmm. and Cody was doing really well and so um, you know, I was, I was hot that day, and um, maybe I could have run a little bit faster, but I wasn't willing to run as fast as I needed to to beat Nick because Nick was, you know, on a rampage. And can I run faster? Could I, could I have done it? Yes, but I think I would have really suffered badly if I had. And so I decided to, to kind of hang back with Cody. Um, he was running a pace that I thought was decent, and so we just kind of went together. Yeah, and same thing with me. So I, I paired up with Nate knowing that he was um, always within one or two spots of me with the running. So it was really it was really motivating to have him because he had never ran that far of a distance before. Um, or he hadn't ran a five mile in a, in a while. And I loved running long distance, so right. we helped push each other. 
And was that something, I'm sorry, was that something that you guys decided just to, on yourself? Or yeah. Or was that something they said Strategically suggested? in that our head. strategic on your yeah. own part. Wow. That didn't happen for me until I was on the run. Oh, really? Um, okay. Yeah, we because, it. well, I was going to run as fast as I could, like do as well as I could without blowing myself up. And then Cody just happened to be there. And I got to give big props to Cody because we started talking. We were going to come in at about the same time. And I was like, look, Cody, you are way ahead in points. This isn't going to make a big difference for you. But I was trying to get back into the top 10. And so it's, it's going to make a difference to me. Do you mind if oh, I finish wow. first? And he's like, I would love if you would. And so we came in, and he was a gentleman, and, and he just let me kind of go ahead at, at the very end. So that, it was like teamwork. Wow. and yeah. that. That's yeah, interesting. That that's very yeah. interesting, the strategy behind mm -hmm. it. Like, yeah. you, know, you don't really see that, you know. And that's a huge sacrifice on his part, too. He, yeah. he is a really good man. He really is. He's a, he's a true American patriot and just a really good guy. Yeah, well, Cody is. What's interesting is we started out thinking this was going to be a competition and, and kind of like, you know, if you lose, you're out. And now mm -hmm. it's more kind of getting into this you're building a team, you're building, you know, these relationships, and uh, it's really interesting to watch, and I, I, I assume it's really nice to be a part of. Yeah, it's, it, it's yeah. cool. I think I've built some really good relationships in, in, throughout the show, and everyone was super, I don't know, every, everyone brought something different to the table, and I think I have a, a new respect level for a lot of different people for a lot of different reasons. And then you had, I thought you had an issue with the route coming back, is that right? Yeah, so... I hang back with Tariq and Gun Doctor. I don't know him by. I only know him by his, his handle name, Daniel. Daniel. Um, and we, I, I, as soon as I started hitting that track, first of all, I knew that I started to get into some physical trouble. Mm -hmm. My ankles were swollen like twice the size. I had swelling in my hands. Mm -hmm. um, I really started to feel the effects of the desert and everything else on me to where. I knew that I had a choice of whether to push myself through and try to run at least part of it, or I was just going to walk and try to do the best that I could as quickly as I could. And I chose to walk because I felt like I was getting physically to a place where I couldn't do it anymore. And I didn't want to quit. So I was like, I'm just going to walk this. And I actually got with that group of Tariq and those other guys, and they were at the same level as I was where they were also feeling the effects. And I remember also coming to you at some point and it was so great to have Jen um, there because I really didn't know if there was something really wrong with me where I thought like something could happen to me. And I, I mean, I could have a stroke out here, heat stroke or something. And I asked Jen and she, you know, took the time to like look me over, tell me like, hey, you know, you're kind of giving me some ideas of what it could be. And just, it was because of you that I was able to keep going at some point. I know. <laughs> I'm so glad. Yeah, I'm okay. so glad I could help. I don't want to cry anymore. Okay, so um, <laughs> and I was I'm so proud of you. Like that was that is really painful when you're having that much swelling and stuff. So I'm so proud of you for yeah. Well, for feeling finishing. sick is the worst. It's, it's like the worst. It's the worst because you don't know what's wrong with you. It's like before all this started, I I felt like I I was in a place physically where I could do it, but then once you're in it and it's it's happening to you, it's like it's overwhelming. It's overwhelming. Yeah. I think we should also mention uh, Nate. Um, because I believe he's the one who hurt his calf and he and do you remember that? Oh yeah. Right? And he, he and had an injury. Yeah, Nate Bailey. Yeah. Yes. So he had pulled his, his calf the day before. Um, and he just straight up shouldn't have even continued the contest because of how extensive that injur injury oh, wow. was. And he still ran the five mile. Um, and I believe he finished like sixth or seventh like insane. He was he right duct tape. He, he was right behind foot. us. And I just think that just shows another level. Mm -hmm. Um as yeah. well. Yeah, I, think, I think he gets a lot of credit for that. And then the one other person I would like to call out is um Landon and I when we so we finished pretty pretty early and we knew that people would be struggling. It was a rough day. And so we got out in a cart and we got out on the course and we realized that people were going the wrong way. And by going the wrong way they were adding like an additional at least a half a mile I think and so we kind of were able to turn them around and and so that was good too oh, wow. yeah we couldn't finish it for them but we could at least make sure yeah. they didn't do an extra oh, half a mile yeah we right. did tour at the end as well is, and yeah it's yeah. great well um speaking of running I think I'm not 100 percent sure but I think we have some running involved in our next challenge on this oh, show. Nice. <laughs> All right, I know someone's going to love that. All right. <laughs> so, uh, what do you say we uh, go do another challenge? Let's do it. All right. Check it out. We're going to uh, go back to our secret location 
on the East Coast here, we're going to do another challenge. All right, ladies, for this next challenge, today's been a pretty exciting day. So what we're going to do now is start from a static position. You're going to pick up and you're going to move to another position, shoot, and you're going to continue on with footsteps or walking as we engage targets as we move. Cool. Okay, so from this first position here, we're going to be in the prone position. Once you get ready to fire, you'll have the commands from the uh, range RCO, R RSO. And then what we'll do is five rounds from the prone position. Once you fire that five rounds, get up as quickly as you can. Run to the first plate that we see right there. Okay, on my left as I'm looking forward, first plate. You'll take a knee. When you take a knee, engage your targets five more rounds. Okay, once you engage that with the fifth round, get up. Now on this time, we talked about safeties before. This time you're moving with a long gun. Safeties need to go on. Manipulate that safety. It's going to teach you a little bit more fundamentals in working with that gun. And then from there, we're going to start actually walking and shooting. So when you're walking and shooting, you have to find your center of balance. You're never going to get a perfect shot, but you've got to figure out where your body is balances at that time so you can crack off them rounds and be able to hit your target. Okay? So your heart rate's going to get going a little bit, and it's just a little bit more uh, excitement, if you will, cool. than static shooting all the time. All right? Okay. Any questions on what we have so far? Nope. Let's do it. Sounds great. All right, so, ladies. Let's, let's kick it. it. All right, awesome. Oh. There you go. Come on. You can do it. Got him all over the place. All right. Find your target. Find it. There you go. Heel to toe. Heel to there toe. you go. Heel to toe. Exactly. Center, center of balance. There you go. Good. There you go. Find it. There you go. Okay, stop, finish your rounds. Okay. Sorry. Right. Remove the source of feed. Safety. Safety. I'll get up. For the first target, for the first uh, shot. Safety. Okay. Now that you're walking and moving, you take it off of safe. You find that rhythm in your body. Keep moving forward. Engage that target. Try to keep walking. Try to keep moving. Heel to toe. Heel to toe. Or toe to heel. Toe to heel. Keep moving. Keep moving. Keep I can't as long as I'm walking. Take longer steps. You there you go. Moving. There you go, keep moving, keep moving. Good, keep moving, keep moving. There you go, keep moving, keep moving, keep moving, keep moving. Okay, good. Time. Okay, back on save. 85. Remove the source of feed, magazine. Walk and move. Walk and move. Engage that target. Go ahead. Hit it. Shoot. 
Keep walking. Pick it up. Keep walking. Keep walking. You can do it. Let's go. There you go. Good. Keep, walking. keep doing that. There you go. Heel to toe. Heel to toe. Good. Keep going. Keep going. <laughs> there you go. You're almost there. Okay, stop. Finish it. Okay. All right. Put on safe. Woo! That was interesting. So, running with rifles is maybe not the best idea. Unless you're trained, then it's a lot of fun, right? <laughs> a ton of fun, yes. It was so cool watching you guys do that. I mean, that's really intense. Yeah, it was cool. I think what I got hung up on was trying to remember, you know, you have to run up to this line and then have, you know, two shots on target here and then run to here. And for me, the trying to memorize it was a little overwhelming. But Right, right. Yeah. It's a lot to think about. It was hot, too. <laughs> <laughs> it's hot. I it's did hot. like the running and gunning, though. Running uh, and especially, literally. And you did good at it, too. <laughs> Yeah, and but especially with rifles, I mean, it seems like more often than not, you're doing it with handgun, and it's just mm. really fun to, to mm -hmm. do it with a long gun. Right. So. It, yeah. lo it looked cool. <laughs> <laughs> uh, so, we have two episodes left of Surviving Man and this show, and then that's a wrap for the season. Uh, so, we're barreling down here, and we want a tease for episode nine. So, there's something that hasn't came out yet um but okay. does come out in the next episode um even the two contestants here don't know about it um really? so i'm looking forward to that and um i will say that some of it involved a cover story i guess or a cover that i almost get blown by one of the top contestants in the show um so your cover I'll almost see. gets blown i like i like that already you got you can't tease us like that no no that's a great tease great. i love it i'm like what's what are you talking about cover so, blown. that'll be cool it's like a spy. And then, okay. I don't know how you feel about this, but the other thing was that um, the physical challenges were not over. Like, the grand finale was <laughs> was about to hit us, <laughs> thanks yeah. to Don. Yeah. Would you agree? Absolutely. Oh, in man. a big way. In a they, big they way. Went, they went out with a bang with the, Absolutely. With the final. Yeah, it was crazy. crazy. Yeah. Crazy. Wow. Like, way more than I thought. Oh, yeah. So, for sure. But everyone finished. Yes. For sure. Okay, so everyone finished, so we mm -hmm. do know that. That's interesting. Yeah. But it was uh, cover blown. I really like that. That's. Um, I, I, I'm yeah. literally on the edge of my seat, like wanting you to tell me the rest. <laughs> <laughs> uh, this is um, this has been great. Uh, it's really awesome having you guys here. Um, every episode, uh, we have two more, and uh, then that's it. So. Boo. Boo. I know. It's <laughs> sad. Yeah, know. It's sad. It's a little sad. It is. It's like. Uh, this okay. is fun. It has been. It's been so great. It's been great. Yeah. Um, well, that is the show. Thank you guys so much for watching. I'm your host, Dan Kathman, and this is Aftermath.